Well, that really sums up the day of the Pittsburgh Steelers. The record falls to four and four. Bad loss again. I don't know what I get from Pittsburgh week to week. Obviously, the game didn't end the way you wanted. The team has lost three straight. What has the vibe been with the guys this week? It's been good. I mean, there's no panic. We're at halftime now, and it's um, it's all of, in this sport. It's all about November and December football to get to January football. You can be a, a mediocre team early in the year, but if you get hot at the right time, um, that's all that really matters. I loved what you said to the media this week with the watch me and the follow me. How do you stay calm, but also have the urgency to put an end to this losing streak and win games? Well, it's obviously a huge challenge with the, one of the best, if not the best football team coming in here. Um, but that's what we want. I've been doing this long enough, um, 13 years now, and, and to understand what it takes. Some guys have come to this team that have never been on a playoff team or a team that's a contender type. And you know, we almost always are. I've never been 13 years, never been below 500. And that's something you take pride in. And it's just, listen, follow the older guys, follow the veterans, myself, the linemen, people like that, and just see how we react, we act, and um, you know, go about our business. And the Cowboys are gonna win the game. How about the kid, Dak Prescott? You're going up against an injured secondary in Dallas this week. You basically just put the entire team on your back by saying, watch me, follow me. What does Ben Roethlisberger have to do in the second half of the season? Play my best football. Um, you know, that's what it takes. I think with their defense, it's not fancy. You know, they're not lining up with all these exotic blitzes and doing all this stuff. They just line up and beat you. And so, really, it's about doing your job because they're going to do their job. We were talking a lot about your rookie season, and, and you've been asked a lot of this week in comparison with Dak. You had a great defense with you. He does as well. If you could speak to Dak Prescott from where you were as a rookie, any advice you'd give him? Enjoy, Enjoy the times you don't have wrinkles. <laughs> Enjoy it um, because it's, you know, I know for me, I'm not sure if it is for him, but it went by so fast. Yeah. I mean, it, it was such a blur. I mean, you know, we won every game. He's winning almost every game. And um, it, it just, it flies by. And it, it's a world when you look back on the thing, man, that was, that was crazy. Dallas has a seven game winning streak, but is this maybe good medicine for the Steelers right now? Because it is that primetime matchup. There's so much chatter about Dak and Zeke. Is that what this team maybe needs right now? Well, yeah, to play a very good football team. Mm -hmm. You know, you, as we talked about the second half of the season, you gotta beat your best and you wanna play the best. Yeah. And they are arguably the best right now in football. So uh, what an awesome challenge for us.